Oxfam is close. I really want to go in there. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here and also Miss Carrie Hello. Dayton. And we are in London. We're literally in London. We're li I like it blows by absolute mind. Today I am filming a thrift with me, which I'm just so excited because the last time obviously I was here and I made a thrift with me it was back in 2019. We're going to different charity shops, so it's not gonna be the same thing. I did some research, so hopefully things um are good charity shops thrift stores totally different i got so many comments saying like it's not gonna be the same thing and i totally understand that yeah, we're, we're yeah. prepared yeah. if i find one thing i'm gonna be completely happy so we're gonna head to the first thrift store called trade and then i have a couple other ones that um we will see about checking out so let's go so we started this charity shop, thrift trip, whatever the heck you want to call it in Shepherd's Bush. Well, technically right before Shepherd's Bush because we accidentally got off at the wrong stop. Well, I made us get off on the wrong stop on accident. But anyway, once we made it into Shepherd's Bush, we had our first stop, which was the charity shop Mind. And the first thing I ended up finding was this Disney sweater. It wasn't in my size or my preferred size when it comes to sweaters. I think it wasn't extra small. So I did end up leaving it and it was a cute little charity shop. There were definitely a lot of like categories that were then like overfilled. So I was really trying not to drop anything and obviously trying to film this without like a cart. Obviously the charity shop is smaller, so that's why they don't have carts. But then also it was busy. So I'm sorry for my shaky footage. I really tried my best. I really just wanted to show how different, obviously like secondhand shopping in the US versus the UK. And definitely with this one, you know, it's a smaller size. It's not the way warehouse US thrift stores that we have, but it was really cute. And it was nice that they did categorize it by sizing and type, not by color, but I did like that because there's definitely thrift stores in the US that don't even do that. So it did just make it nice to be able to be like, oh, this is my size. But I still went through every single size because you never know what someone puts back. That leather blazer, so cute. And then I do like their little home section. They had the cutest stuff. I didn't have a big enough luggage uh, to take any home decor stuff. So I ended up not getting anything but the jewelry had a cute little selection that heart necklace was very cute and then i ended up going right next door to the charity shop farah or farah i'm not too sure it was quite nice in different areas that i had gone to different charity shops. A lot of them were close together. So even though you would spend maybe 10, 20 minutes in one charity shop, there was another one right next to it or a little bit down the street or something like that. This one was cute. Uh, I feel like there's not too much to say about it because I was just, you know, looking at the clothing. Um, I definitely prefer to be able to talk like in the moment when I'm secondhand shopping, but it was too busy for me to be talking to myself and especially being American. I was like, oh no, they're gonna judge me because my loud American accent. So I tried to be like quiet. I did like their little leather jacket section. They had some cute stuff. And I did originally find two things, those black boots and those pink corduroy pants. The corduroy pants, alas, were too small, but these boots were the exact size and they were so cute. Uh, I ended up realizing that it was kind of coming apart. So I did end up leaving leaving it, which made me so sad because it was really cute. <laughs> okay, so obviously I had to do like a voiceover and stuff because we went into two smaller charity shops, but now we are, sorry, there's something in my eye. Oh my goodness. Cause just cause it was on the way, obviously there's a lot of like little smaller charity shops. So I just want to get an idea. Um, but now three minutes until we go to this place called Trade. And from what it seems like, it's a good one. We'll see. We'll see. But Carrie already got stuff. Yeah. The last charity shop on the street was Trade. I had heard about it from Best Dress video and I was shocked by the size and the prices. I will say they had an overwhelming amount of dresses, like 80% dresses and 20% other style clothes. So if you need a secondhand dress in London, I recommend this place. It definitely reminded me of like a Plato's Closet, Buffalo Exchange type pieces. So more like trendy pieces that you would see, say at the mall, there was, you know, Misguided, ASOS, Topshop, Zara. This vest, are you kidding me? So cute. These little shorts, super adorable. Sorry for the lighting. I don't know what was going on, but I I did just want to film what I did end up trying on. This dress, I was very sad. It was quite thin. Like you could literally see my belly button, but 
it was adorable it just didn't fit me very properly there was also this black baby doll dress that was a little bit too short for my liking these floral shorts i was obsessed with very like 90s when i actually finished in the dressing room i went back out and found this denim dress are you kidding me? I am I am in love with it so much and I, I did end up purchasing it. After we finished in there, we ended up going to Notting Hill to meet up with Ruby. We have Ruby here Hi. taking us to some more charity shops in Notting Hill. Yes, welcome to London. Yay. <laughs> okay, some of these shops, I honestly don't remember their names because we went in so many charity shops, vintage shops, but they were all on Portobello Road, I believe. This vintage store was pretty great but oh my goodness the prices were high and last time i went to london in 2019 we only like mainly exclusively went to vintage shops in brick lane that had the cutest stuff but yeah just like the prices were insane so i did end up finding some shorts here but i ended up leaving them just because they didn't really fit me and especially for the price i was like no no no, no. the next stop was royal trinity hospice and it was super nice in there i I did end up finding a cardigan and I went back and forth, but it was super itchy. So I ended up not getting it and I ended up not getting anything here, but they had a good amount of like shoes in their collection that they were selling. <laughs> After that, we went into Pepper Tree Vintage and they had some really cool, funky sweaters and jackets, but nothing that really called my name. As we were actually leaving to go back to our hotel, we had said goodbye to Ruby and we ended up stopping in this Farah fair and it was quite busy i ended up finding this quilted pastel pink jacket and oh my gosh it was so comfy Alrighty, so it's a little bit later we ended up like i you already saw i've done a voiceover you know what's going on but basically i feel like we're kind of good for our thrift trip in london we may go thrifting somewhere else at some point but not really i don't know well we are open to whatever yes. ends up happening but feeling really good i will see you in the next clip Alrighty, so we are actually in Cambridge. Originally, I like wasn't sure if we were gonna be going to charity shops, so I was like, okay, I'll just do some London thrifting, but we are here, and Carrie's friend, Alex, she's a photographer, she's literally so, so nice, was like, no, 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 there's charity shops here, I'm gonna take you, so she's taking us to some, so I just figured I would continue this on, and it'll be really interesting to kind of compare the charity shops in Cambridge versus London. It may be exactly the same. I know charity shops, no matter what, in the UK can be really tiny, so. Yeah, we'll just see. I don't know what I'll get. I actually got a good like amount, but I figured that's cool that then at least there's like two different locations of thrifting in the UK. Alex took us to a street that had so many charity shops and vintage shops. And the first place we ended up going to was Gemporium Vintage. And they actually had decent prices, especially for a vintage store with good pieces. It was very much like 90s vibe with floral dresses, denim, funky hoodies. And I ended up trying on this floral dress. I can't decide if I regret not getting it or not because it was super cute but i did leave it and then i also tried on these overalls and wow the fit was like a dream okay so i did end up getting the overalls dungarees now we're going into british heart foundation let's just see what happens i wanted to include as much footage of all the different charity shops like i had said in the like previous clips just to show how different compared to the US and especially even the layouts compared to other charity shops like they were similar but the way that they organized things was a little bit different some charity shops had more pieces than other charity shops this one was like overflowing and they actually had some cute pieces that floral puff sleeve they had some good jackets across the way was RSPCA and this dress caught my eye instantly but sadly it was not my size so i left it obviously and this one had some really good jackets i found that the charity shops in cambridge had way more jackets and like fall weather 
pieces maybe a lot of people haven't picked them up and in london they are picking them up i do not know but yeah this one was really nice i found that this white little cardigan i went back and forth about getting it but i did i did end up leaving it and right like next to it was sense which was a really interesting charity shop it didn't have that much honestly there were definitely a lot of like button-ups this blue one i did end up picking up because it was pretty cute and like cardigans but not the like chunky comfy cardigans but overall it was a cute little place they did have some nice jackets i thought this pink one was pretty cute it reminded me of the pink quilted one i found the other day All right that was our other charity shop called sense i did end up finding one thing i was pretty sad oxfam is closed i really wanted to go in there but it's okay i think we're now going to the cancer research Okay, this one I really liked. It was a good size. It had good like grandpa slash grandma pieces, but in a good way. Lots of sweaters, lots of jackets, and even some denim. And I think Carrie and I, well, I, I know I found stuff, but I believe Carrie did as well. And it wasn't overly packed on the racks like there was a good amount of stuff but not too many that you were like overwhelmed and couldn't move anything it was like an easy to digest charity shop if you know what i mean oh my gosh that purple turtleneck sweater i'm also trying to figure out if i regret not getting it or not because spoiler alert i ended up not getting it also, they had this like plaid jacket, the blue and green one. Look at how cute that is. Oh my goodness. Then this San Diego sweatshirt, which I, I just thought was kind of funny. I did find some denim, which was so random and so wild. I ended up trying on these jeans and they fit me perfectly somehow, some way. <laughs> my goodness, I'm definitely gonna leave the address to the area that we ended up going that Alex ended up showing us because like to the point where we were kind of like, okay, I'm good. Even though there's more charity shops that we could have gone in, like I am, I'm good. Wow. I think the next clip now will be at the Tran Hall. We may film it tomorrow. I want to film it with Carrie. And yeah, I feel like this charity shop thrifting trip has gone really well. I definitely understand the whole like going outside of London. And I mean, obviously I'm in Cambridge, so it's not like I'm in the middle of nowhere or anything. Maybe, maybe next time I go to the UK, I'll go more into like smaller places to check out theirs or a car boot sale next time fingers crossed but yeah see you in the next clip so we are back at jasmine's and oh my goodness this went way better than how so I much better yeah it's gonna go and i think the nice part is if you watch my last london or england thrifting charity shop video from 2019 that trip was very different than kind of this thrifting trip and it's been nice being able to get kind of like a different view yeah, and for sure. especially with alex taking us you know charity shop shopping in cambridge oh my goodness so good literally i i have to show you like what also alex was so nice and she had a bunch of clothes that she is going to be taking to the charity shop and she was like do you want to go through it? And I was like, uh -huh. mm -hmm. So I also, I felt like I'll include it in this as well, just because that's another option, obviously with thrifting and secondhand, you can swap with your friends. We're just going to get into it. And yeah, I have all of my receipts, so I'll do my best with pricing. But honestly, like, you went <laughs> in, bro. The first thing are jeans. What? It is specifically from my favorite jean company route 66 my all-time favorite for to pair i'm pretty jeans. sure this is like an og walmart brand really from back in the day yeah i think they did it well correct me they if i'm wrong well. but i think yeah like they i want to say like i remember route 66 jeans from like elementary and middle school oh, they're so good they feel so amazing and i'm just they're mind so blown. you they were eight pounds from cancer research and cambridge then from sense this was three pounds and it is this lauren duver little button so up. cute i love this color i know for me personally i was mainly focused on fall clothing as much as i could obviously yeah and this was just like oh okay this That's is kind of spring i can like layer and all that jazz i'm very excited about love this her. another denim piece the overalls mm. i ended up getting this which is you like guys the saw one. from gemporium vintage highly recommend i forgot oh. about how like how yeah, cute they are they're yeah. 
so cute. They were 36 pounds, which we had gone into, I guess, vintage stores in Notting Hill. I totally mm -hmm. forgot. And they had overalls for 80 pounds. Mm -hmm. And I've been looking for overalls, obviously, for such a long time. I used to be really into them. Then I just never found the perfect fit. And these are the perfect fit. And when you go into vintage shops like anywhere in LA, like it's gonna be way more than like $80 or yeah. however much for like a good vintage pair of overalls. So this was a steal for yeah. sure. It's from Express. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if like Express Express or like a different brand Express. I'm not too sure. International short. World Jeans. Sure. Yeah, and they have this little like butter fly like flower so cute and i actually wasn't even going to try them on but we were going through and i was like i don't know they just look so long and then i tried them on and i was like oh mm -hmm. <laughs> they're actually perfect they're so cute another uh, <laughs> another it's so denim cool. piece it's a cute little denim dress I and about here's this. the thing this top portion I just, it, I'm losing my mind over. It's it iconic. is so cute. It and just, length. it is such a, just like 90s vibe. I had thrifted obviously a denim dress probably like a month ago, love it. But there is something about these buckles. This that one might just be like, way cuter, honestly. Yes, this one was from Trade. It was actually, it doesn't itemize it. So we are just gonna say, oh, four pounds. Everything I got oh was four Oh my gosh, four pounds. four pounds? Then I got this one also from Cancer Research. It's this little blue sweater. And I did really want a sweater, but a lot of them honestly were either itchy or there really wasn't any, I mm -hmm. felt. I mean, obviously living in a colder climate, they're probably taking them, which is, you know, all good. Mm -hmm. enjoy but I was really excited about this one just for being comfy mm -hmm. it just felt right felt like my grandpa mm -hmm. would wear this exactly it feels like a yeah. grandpa sweater but like I really love the color on your skin tone like with your skin yeah. tone and your hair and stuff and it felt like a grandpa sweater but like a more kind of like everyday one you know yeah it definitely has some um like questionable like stains on it um some crusties on oh, it oh yeah the dark yeah. brown yeah when you like touched yes. it I was like oh gosh sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands after yeah this. so definitely need to give this a good wash then I got oh. this one like are you kidding me are so you actually good. kidding me it it was from Farah. This one was in Notting Hill. It was 18 pounds, but it does have the Topshop tag on it. It's this cute little it's pastel. It's so cute. What it is, like a quilted, yeah, yeah quilted Like coat. a liner kind of. Yeah, and it fits so nice because I've talked about quilted coats of like, oh, like I'm not sure, but I've never personally come across them. And I saw this and I was like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. And I put it on and I was like, yeah, it feels like I'm wearing a blanket. It's this so is so good. pretty. It's so pretty. I can't wait to see how yeah. you And like Carrie was outside and I was in the dressing room like screaming for her because <laughs> I was like, I need somebody to tell me to like help me with this because I'm saying yes, but I need a friend to also say I yes. I love it. <laughs> also from Trade, which I guess I got for four pounds, are these floral little ruffle shorts. They are originally from Hollister. I was really drawn to them because they kind of reminded me of bloomers a little bit. Like they're high waisted. Yeah. They're very comfortable, like during spring. Oh gosh darn, I can wear them now mm -hmm. because it's 90 degrees. <laughs> but I just really like how they fit. I think even just like a frilly crop top. This cute pink lawn dress, tiered dress. It is originally from Zara, it is in a medium. And this one I was like, oh yeah, this color is really cute. Let me try it on. Like, I don't know. And I was like, oh, this, this is really cute. So I feel cute. like it's gonna be so adorable for springtime mm -hmm. and summertime. Still can wear it, obviously, little hair bows. And I just, oh, we gotta Love go, it. we gotta go to brunch in it. Yeah. yeah. And for, I guess four pounds as well. Oh. The next denim piece is this denim vest. Okay, and I know, I know you're like, whoa, 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 you already got a denim vest, but this one fits differently. It's looser. The other one is more like, I'm gonna button it up and wear it as a shirt. Yeah. This is, this is how it goes in my mind of like, nah, no, it's okay. It's a it's different okay. purpose. Yes, yes. It's from Liz Wear. It is in a medium and it just fit so it's perfect. Nice. And that was everything I ended up getting in the charity shops. I do have the pieces from Alex that I just want to show just to like you have to. put it in here. First, actually very similar to the quilted jacket, but it is a different material and a different color. Yes, it is this pastel purple. <sighs> So oh, cute. When you put it oh. on, I was like, <gasps> and like technically I got this after I got the other one, but this one is different. And also technically it was free. You did actually get <laughs> yeah. it for free. I love it. This one and the pink one and that they are 
comfortable, not too hot. So they're kind of perfect for the climate that I personally live in. Mm -hmm. Then she had this cute little so white, cute. almost like ivory dress. She did say that there's like a small stain, but honestly, I don't like, see it. I just thought it was an adorable little dress. I feel like this, even with the denim vest, could be so a really sweet. cute yeah. little pairing. Oh, these are yes. so good. Like, are you oh. kidding me? They're originally from Misguided, and they literally so fit me perfectly. And I'm just like, they're really, they're not too short, not too long. They're kind of perfect. And I mean, the color is so fun. Incredible. This is like saved by the bell of yeah. the dream. Then as you guys know, I love a good collar. I love a good Peter Pan collar. And I've been pretty good where I really own only own one. And mm -hmm. you know, you see one at the thrift store and you're like, I don't like that shirt, but I love that collar. Am I really gonna like spend that money and just for the collar? And so she ended up having this cute it's little top. Like with the cool. pink jacket, yeah. the pink quilted jacket. It is from MNG and I just love, it just reminds me of like my grandma, but like in the best way. I mean, she didn't wear these, but like the, like the doily, you know, exactly. Mm -hmm. The last thing in this entire England haul, <laughs> secondhand trip. Sorry, I felt like I was like, I feel like I'm, I'm like tired. So I'm like overly <laughs> oh, like, I love it. Woo. another vest. This one is this black Zara vest. It's kind of cropped and it's honestly like the perfect fitted black waistcoat because I did have one that I thrifted probably like six, seven months ago. And that one was a little bit too big. And I think I ended up putting it on my Poshmark or donating it. And so this one, I was like, wait, yeah, that's literally, cause I have a loose one, but mm -hmm. then I also needed you and that was a little, a, little, a little like tighter and especially because Carrie wore this outfit when we went and I was like, well, I got a twin with Carrie That was now. so cute. That was our first time yeah. we both went. <gasps> so just so, so excited about this and everything I ended up getting. So good. And that was everything I ended up getting in England. Like, wow. Make sure you check out Carrie's video linked right down below. And as always, if you do like thrifting, secondhand fashion, charity shop, shopping, then make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a super sunny day. Bye. Bye.